Hi, Paul from Sound Devices with another quick tip on the 8 Series. And today I want to talk to you about RF64. No, it's nothing to do with wireless signals. The RF actually stands for RIF, but come a bit closer. Now, one of the big problems with multi-channel recorders, especially one like the Scorpio, which is a 36-track recorder, and the 888 is a 20-track is a recorder, is you can get a lot of data from all those tracks. And especially when you're, you've got 192 kilohertz sampling, you know, that's a lot of data in one file. Now, a standard WAV file has a file size limit of only four gigabytes. And up till now on these location recorders, that has meant that when you reach that limit, the machine has to automatically split to a new file, which is fine because it does it seamlessly. There's no missed samples, but it just puts this extra step in post and where they have to stitch the two files or, or the, all the files that have been split together. Well, the 8 series, by virtue of the fact that it supports a disk format, XFAT, which supports um, file sizes way bigger than four gig uh, gigabyte. In fact, you can support file sizes in, in uh, up to terabytes of information. And the fact that we have WAVE um, RF64 support, we can have files much bigger than four gigabytes. So that means now you can record for weeks with like 36 tracks at high sample rate, high sample rate without the file ever splitting. So how do we turn on RF64? Let's come to our menu, scroll down to record play, and then go to our track to media routing menu where we can route tracks to all the different media and different combinations. And on the toggle switch here, you'll see something called WAV format. That can be set to BWF, which is your standard WAV file, four gigabyte file limit, which, uh, or you can set it to RF64. And this is the first location recorder that will allow you to record RF64. Now I can hear what you're saying. You're thinking, oh, but is this compatible with doors? Yes, it is. Virtually every single door out there will read RF64, whether it's Pro Tools, Logic, Reaper, Avid, Adobe, they'll all read RF64 files. It's essentially a WAV file, but just with 64 bits for addressing, which gives you this huge file size of terabytes. Um, so what happens with RF64 as well is if the file, if the recording is actually under four gigabytes, it will actually automatically leave it as a standard broadcast WAV file. It's only when it exceeds um, uh, four gigabytes, so it automatically converts it while recording to RF64.